It is time. Time to try some squids on the size. Where's my squid stuff? Here we go. Now then. I want to make changes to this. The menu has proved pretty poor. This has proved very good. <laughs> Jack straight in here to see some Malamar testing. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Let's try this on to begin with. We'll start with the ultra list because Wobs, I believe, still not working, unless anyone can tell me otherwise, in which case we can play both builds tonight. But we're testing out the old squids. Seb, yeah, not bad, mate. I'm having surgery on it this Friday to correct some damage, so hopefully it'll be on the mend after that. Yeah, Jack ain't in here just yet. Let me turn Skype on and see if he's... Uh... He's here. Hey, Rabbi, good job with your League Cup win. I believe you played Buzz Garb. Not too shabby. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be good by Sheffield. Ooh, auto loss. Is Monkey really needed? Uh, it's something I'm trying to figure out myself, to be honest. I like the safety net of having him. When you have so many ball search cards late game, and ball search cards normally win you the game if it can get you one of your leleys. Um, I like having the Guru option. But he's a card that doesn't come onto the board until very late in the game. Normally. So because our hand is really weird, we want to do it like this. I think I still attach active and threaten a Froki KO. Early pressure. Don't know how else we win this matchup, so let's do that. Yeah, bench space is the is the big thing, right? You don't get him down until you know you're gonna be end. Like there's a point where it's not worth you searching out another in cave because you won't have time to build up to a Malamar or you'll be end to a low hand size and probably won't get your third or fourth Malamar on board but that ball can be spent trying to a thin cards that would be dead and find the monkey it's a real niche like unlike Guru in other decks where you just slam him and he's good for the game uh, this is very different so I see why it's not an insta play card but I still think it's worth trying ah here's Jack hello Hello, good sir. How are we? He's here. He's there. He's every blooming where. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, my Overwatch game went one minute over time. So it all went wrong. <laughs> uh, is it worth me ah. getting a squid out now? I mean, we're not going to be... Mm, sure. It lets me reload next turn. So. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Good, good. Gonna test some squids today, seeing as how you were doing the Boswell side on... Was it Sunday? Was it yesterday? Yeah, last night. Yeah. Let's give the balance. Yeah. Did you record earlier? No, so I was, I, I was I, testing I, both, and I couldn't decide which one to record. Okay, so can I make the decision for you? Yeah. Because I would love to take Turbo Buzz. Okay. That's after fine. playing more of that deck. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'll still do Frogs first. I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Turbo Buzz will be later on in the week. Second Monday stream isn't as good as the one earlier on today. That's just rude. Uh, right, I need to... Get the Sheffield document open, and let's get let's get testing. Why is it Espion Zoroark? That does not sound right. <laughs> Free some games in Rocket League. I don't think you ever play Rocket League. Yes, Mr. Soda King. 
Nah, not accustomed to World Rocket League. Benny, how's it going? Oh, wow. Well, I just beat Greninja because of Greninja hands, I guess. It goes onto the spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Document it quickly. <laughs> You think if you don't run Mali or Buzz at Sheffield, you're bad? Zoroark decks are still way in the mix. Like, super in the mix. As in, probably some of the high, like higher win rates with Zoro decks than... Definitely with Buzzwell decks in my book. Malamar is pretty much as high as Zoroark so far for me. So those are my two front runners to begin with. But it's still early days. Still lots of one or two card changes being done with lists as I test, so still trying to get the right balance with my buzz wall, I think. Finding out. Especially because there's Things. a couple of builds that are viable, so. Is this a turn two hand? I think this could just be a pass and go into turn two very happy hand. No attachments, a little Very sad. happy hand. dream is we top deck letter <laughs> but is that greed <laughs> <laughs> i mean uh if i'm ultra balling there's no good ultra ball targets and there's no nah there's no reason to come on let's just pass Malamar's the mayor of Clunk City and Parallel's losses. I've not found it Clunk. I've not found it Clunk. Parallel is definitely a thorn in the paw. Or a hook in the squid. I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why, why is that not a famous quote? A hook in the squid. It's the same as a thorn in the paw, right? I can't see a difference, if I'm honest. It can be clunky, believe me. Let's agree to agree with you. Um, okay. I did have some weird hands with it this weekend, to be fair. It never felt clunky, but it... it did present strange hands. Like this one. <laughs> uh, can't even filch. <laughs> can't even filch? Um... Oh, God, God. <laughs> I think immediately from the list that I played this weekend, I want to take out an energy to add in a letter. Yeah, letter's really good in this deck. You're, are you playing, you're playing for ultra or yeah. normal? Oh no, I, I'm in a normal. In yeah, old Necrozma. Yeah, I'm both. Yeah. Am I still playing? I haven't played any more. I haven't played any with uh, ultra yet. I've just been testing... I way prefer um, normal. <laughs> I way prefer full psychic build. The only thing... One of the things I noted with Psychic Build was um, it needs... I felt it needed a one energy attack. One energy? Yeah. In an energy acceleration deck, Mr. Jackal. For like, for like early turns, just poking stuff. I haven't worked out what yet. What does poking mean? I don't understand. <laughs> What is this concept? <laughs> Why poke when you you can kill? Die, die. Death. Die, die, die. There are a lot of resources in this in this discard already. Apparently you're a little quiet, Joe. I am. I can jump up a little bit. 
I can jump up. I can get with the kids. I don't know. Hold on. No, I can't do that. Nor do I want to. Let's move on. I just want a built chair, as embarrassing as this is. All I want to do is filch. See, I'm already disliking this build compared to the straight build. There's just cards that don't work in the right order. Like this metal energy that's right here. That's not a psychic energy. You know, that's already my reason to play this normal build. I think Bob's still bugged. I'm not sure, though. Jack, do you know if there's any... Uh, I, believe it's, I believe it still is. Yeah. Did I do anything? It sounds the same. I can jump a little higher. If you really want me to. Malik and Clunks, it doesn't play Sushi or Zoro. I mean, sure. Yes. But it's a much more board-centric deck in terms of your turn can be pre-planned for you if you have the squids out and energy going. That's the intention, anyway. Alright, so we're at... Uh, 80, 100, 130. Uh, we need to somehow draw into a ball search card that can discard. We've still got six of those rattling around. There we go. I think it's monkey time. Oh, I used Mysterious Treasure. It ain't monkey time, of course not. It's, it's time to <laughs> get one of these. For later. Hey, but I would even suggest mon monkey time. It actually legitimately isn't monkey time. Um, right, this is enough, right? 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. We'll get one extra psychic recharge on our other Ultra Boy. Eh? Uh, we can thin an ink if I really want to. I don't think they're playing parallel. I don't think there's space in that list. They'll just be playing brooklets. Right. Let's pretend they're a reasonable man. What do I think about Towards Toronto play? Pretty wild. <laughs> Pretty wild. Wild is a word. Another player contemplating Smeagol in the list. Uh, it ain't happening for me. I mean, if you're going to put a Smeagol down... I don't even... No, I, I'm just not going to put a Smeagol down. <laughs> I've tried too many decks of Smeagol. They've never worked, so... Oh boy, they got the super skill up. Hmm. Did they hit slash whiff? Yep, definitely a whiff. Smeagol is a myth, that's true. How much would I drop per Ultra Necrozma? Is that on PTCGO? Oh, in cash? I don't know, I've not actually looked to buy singles yet. I'm s I need to uh, tell Jack actually what I intend to get. Yes, you do. We do still have our super rod, right? Nope. Oh well. Uh, this ain't important. I think I can thin one Lele. Well, it's just one of those. We want to. We want to get Floatstone this turn badly enough. I think that we can thin a Lele. Always feel feels weird to thin a card like a Lele, but. Okay, that ain't 
any of those. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 13, 16. We can get to 16 on one attachment. That is just silly. Da -da -da. I don't mind spending blows. Never want to draw into them in this matchup. Uh, what's the alternative? I don't think we have an alternative here. I think their stall play is done all right for them. I can commit one more psychic to the big boy, just so we don't need a choice band. <clears throat> How different is 160 and 130? Uh, means. Hey, Jordan, for the sub, my guy. Thanks so much, dude. Hey. Is Jordan. Because this means we can't put a float stone on, I think we'll just go for the geyser. This is still in range of a lay lay energy drive later on. <clears throat> okay. Let's go for this guy. I actually value these, like, almost identically. Okay, it's going for a squid. And I really don't value that highly at all. Putting yourself on odd prizes? Thinking. Thinking. No, I don't understand. <laughs> Thinking hard. I'm going to mm. try really, really hard. Mm. It just, they, just no. didn't, they didn't have the right cards. See, this would be the turn that you'd go for a monkey. You know what I mean? In a perfect monkey. world. And that hand back in the deck, sunshine. Last night, Joe, I did 210 for a single energy with Baby Buzz. Mm. So broken. The card is absurd. I really want to stick them all these cards away. Our deck is thin enough that we probably can, though. Yeah, the deck's thin enough that it's still reasonable to, for us to hit our last Guzma later on. The mysterious treasures can find nothing. You find nothing. Is it better for us to attach the metal and burn everything? Uh, this. I think they're about the same. Uh, this gets more energy in the discard preset for us, though. Uh... No, we should attack with this one, right? Eight, yeah. I need. I haven't been using this card. I need to know maths. Let's get a Lele set up for uh, Guzma retreating. If we need it to. 8, 16, 24, so we can actually just field bar away this choice band down here, because it's not a card we want to draw. Blow back this Lucario. Setting up Guzma win, but the choice band on the active is actually a little awkward. Perhaps this other Necrozma was correct, just so that it could... Uh, 3D, we could find a float stone. Didn't matter in the end. Okay. You want to see this list? Yeah, the day's been alright. The day's been good. What have I done today? I haven't done much interesting stuff. <laughs> I went to work. That's what I'm playing with at the moment. 
Interestingly, we didn't use any Dawn Wings there when it's actually like amazing against Lucario. The opponent was terrible. I mean, you don't know their hands. Okay. Now, nah, not playing Mew. Mew's underperformed in my books. It's actually somewhat of a liability against Boswell lists, I found, just because of its low hit points. Have I thought about putting in Maxlix or a B string? B string's an interesting one. I don't think I have enough space to play like more than two. And when you're not playing things like Octillery, it seems like a clunk card a lot of the time. The Elixir I'm really not a fan of. I think that's a lot of dedicated slots to things that you don't want to. Although it is inherently a thinning card for you. I think it's not the nature of this deck. I like the straightforward, simple stuff. Needs more Smeagol. When are they going to fix the Wob Mally bug? I don't know, man. Upsetting me as well. It would be useful, wouldn't it? So it seems to be quite a good deck. You just cannot play it right now. <sighs> you made your Ultra Necrozma deck run well with one Lele and no Bridget. You know when you said your list was clunky? Hmm. <laughs> Try it with Lele's and Bridget. <laughs> Someone said to me the same thing this week, the weekend. They were like, yeah, you really don't need to play um, Bridget. And I found Lele kind of not always useful either. You don't often have to bench them. I was like, how do you draw into your inkies so early all the time? I mean, really? The thing all I say is it's actually your only loss condition against Boswell is to not get enough squids out. That's your only way you lose that matchup. Literally the only way. And people are like, ah, I'll, I'll hit two balls turn one or three balls turn one and even if you do there's a lot of painful discards and all this stuff that can really hurt you whereas this lovely little bridget when you have eight ball search cards and two leleys you can either use your ball to find a lele for bridget turn one and have many supporters in your hand or in this case we've got the bridget and we have lots of ball search cards and lele for our turn two supporter and we're all good to go You think I'm a silly goose? I'm Bridget's OP, man. Bridget is OP. Have I thought of the 1-1 split of Bridget and Lily? Yes, I'm actually playing that in my straight build. Yeah, I'm playing this list because the Wob is bugged. I'm... Oh, are you playing um, Lily in straight build now? Interesting. Yeah. I dropped a Cynthia for it just for turn 1. Shenans. It is a good card. There are hands where you do have the in case stuff and you're like, oh, chill, it, ha it actually happened. But there are times when yeah. it doesn't as well. The stovetop cheered a thousand bits. You absolute oh, champ. So so much, Thank dude. you so much. We had some games last night at like 2 a.m. Wait. Mark's saying a billion? What? A thousand, right? It's definitely a thousand. One billion dollar. Dombro cheering ten as well. For Cheers to support, bugged. guys. Yeah, that, that's a little consolation prize for us there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a meme. Ah, I see. I follow. Oh, I definitely overpaid for a Greninja. Damn it. Do we need the other Inke down? Over another Pokemon, damn. Let's think. Let's think for a sec. We do have all of our Malamars. They have targeted one of our Malamars early. What's their next turn play? Is it to hit this for like 100 something? With one of these guys? Feels bad for them. I think we just try and build as many squids as possible, you know? I think that's fine. So we just do this. We 
get Team Squidward down. Get one of these in the old bin. One Lele, one Bridget. Yeah, that's what I play. That's what I play. Do I want to get rid of an Ultra Space? It, I guess it denies the uh, the Insta Naganadal. I mean, I think two bridges a little much, just because. Again, the deck can function without turn one bridgeting. I'm not saying that it can't function without turn one bridgeting, but it's always a nice option to have. But it's similar to some like guard builds that. Especially, like, if you think about Glycopod Garb, because it's got four Ultra Ball and two Heavy Ball, when you prize Bridget, it doesn't make you want to kill yourself. So, it's very similar in this deck, because we're playing eight Ball Search cards. So, I think one Bridget's enough, and you run the risk of um, prizing a Bridget. I also like playing two Lele, because it's, again, with the amount of Ball Search cards you have, when you get M to one or two... The ball search card is game for you because Lele gets you Guzma. And if you have your squids on board, which you should be doing, you just need to power something up and then Guzma the right thing, basically. So I like having early game Lele and a late game Lele. Another win for us. You noting these down, Bernard? Now nah, I'll, I'll uh, when I upload it, I'll uh, fast forward through stuff. Good plan. What's my Necrozma split? I'm playing uh, three Ultra and two Dawn Wings at the moment. In my pure Psychic build, I've gone to two. Dawn Wings to um, regular Necrozmas. Down from three. I've also gone down to one Wobbuffet from two. Added in the Espeon EX that I talked about in the video. Because that's important to actually beat your Zorark matchup. As long as you can proclaim out Lapras, you're happy. My man. My man. That's what I'm talking about. H2, how's it going, my guy? But guys, you don't need Bridget turn one. Guys! Oh, look. Bridget's perfect turn one. Interesting. Really interesting, isn't it? It's going to be prized, isn't it? Ah, oh, thank God. <laughs> interesting how that works out. Hi, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I kinda wanted it to be prized though. Why? We're on Team Bridget. I know, but <laughs> you were going so hard on how good Bridget is. It's a freaking it good card. Would have been funny. Have you missed the spreadsheet? Nah, dude, it's still early. Oh, so we got spreadsheet we time today. Hard. No, but we'll be looking at um, Toronto's top eight. At least. Yeah. Did you get to watch any of the stream? I didn't actually watch the stream. We were cubing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are they going to go for a sneaky smash? Your team, why not both? You play Lily and Bridge. Yeah, I do that in... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I do that in the Psychic build. Not this build, though. Perhaps I could. Hmm. Bruce, this is definitely a 60. I don't really like going early aggro with this deck, because it feels very punishing when you do get end. As people have been saying, it doesn't have the... 
Hang on, Benji. Support later on in the game, the draw support later on in the game of Artillery or Zoroark to fall back on like the other deck, the, uh, the other early aggro decks do. So I actually like being a bit more progressive, making sure you have all your eels on board before starting to take prizes. So although in race matchups, it obviously helps you win a race, but um, I think you're more often likely to win games by having a progressive approach. Mm. This Buzz Frogs list definitely has sixty-one cards. Yeah. Does it? Nine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How? There's just no. Way. You've written down. You've written down sixty-one cards, you clown. There's geez. just no way. Hang on, Benji. I'm building a deck. God, this man's relentless. Jack's lying. Just record it first, Jack, and then we'll then we'll decide how many cards are in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Benji, want to swear to go. abilities down because that sounds like a bad idea. Buzz frogs. Bruce, you don't know how good SP Garb is anymore. I had a look at um, Caleb's winning list and just tried to squeeze in... Or I cut two Ultra Balls and then squeezed in four Mysterious Treasure. It looks okay. Looks okay. Yeah, it's the spread bloke. Uh-oh. <laughs> We in much trouble. Luckily, he didn't blow his own po town, so he can actually kill this. Do you even play treasure though? You don't want a ultra ball for Eevee? Well, you play Bridget, right? Do I want to take 30 on this next squid? Obviously, I don't want to. Can we realistically N and hit a Pokemon to power up a um, Malamar and a Field Blower off of an N to 5? Ning him doesn't feel good either. Oh. Sycamoring feels really bad. I just think we hope that this guy doesn't get answered for a little bit more. Yeah, sure. When's Neuven Garth? <laughs> Sorry, List Mad Captain. It actually looks. Nah, nah, nah. Not tonight, not tonight, not tonight. Not tonight, not tonight. <laughs> Benji's literally playing against, playing against me now. Yeah, very good. Oh, he's. He's only got him hit himself in the face again, hasn't he? Oh. Why did he do that then? Open Garb sounds juicy. Yeah, there's a lot of mystery treasure value going on there. Teddy B playing order pad in Mega Guardi. Man, people are getting creative up in here. I didn't think I'd like this format, but that, like I've actually been enjoying playing Buzzwall so much over the past couple of days. It's been a lot more fun than I was expecting. It's not ideal, of course, but it's... Not awful.
Time to unfriend Jack. I mean, I think it's because there's new cards. I think in about a week's time, I'm going to be very bored of it, even sooner than I was with the old format. But I think it's just because I've got new cards to play with. <laughs> Mad Captain. That's the good excuse right there. Oh, he's got around Poe Town. What a wizard. Mm. That could be another reason, Mad Captain, yeah. Oh, am I getting destructive noised? Oh, no, it's distort. Destructive sound is the baby. Plenty of items here. I feel like GX attacking. That's right, I said it. <laughs> I think it's just G uh, NGX attack. What a bizarre game. We can pretty freely bench this in, K. Okay? okay. It doesn't kill anything, but it sets us up to a single attach bop stuff now. Bop, bop, bop. Let's hope that their uh, the end does good stuff. Let's really hope that the end does good stuff. <laughs> You're heartbroken? Are you kidding me, man? I'm heartbroken. I'm the heartbroken one out of us two here, I tell you. Look at this guy. Absolutely throwing shade all over me. Doing you in. Slash his game. Have a good deck. That's the only time I'm salty that you end someone to three and they have two energy. <laughs> it's the only time you're salty, right? <laughs> what a deck. <laughs> oh, we're up against the stovetop. Awesome. He's making you work for those bits. He sent some bits my way. Let's say hello to him for that. Oh, Mark's going to go and friend him. Lost to Weavile. I mean, I don't know what else I really could have done. <laughs> Other than not evolve the one Malamar that I evolved. I don't know what else I could have done to change the course of that game. I led a guru, so I couldn't stop that happening. I had to get some semblance of a board going, so I had to put one Lele down. There was never a Tapacure option. I think there was much else I could have done with that hand. This is a time when you don't need to Bridget turn one. You've got two dudes already. You've got three dudes already. Hold on. They're all here. Turn zero, Bridget.
Brigitte. Eh? Zord, how's it going? Yeah, Jack I bombed. Right. That's a that's a true bomb, yeah. Wait, what? Jack in chat, not not you, Jack. Ah. Don't wanna end this, right? I mean they They did play cards. And they did do this for one of these instead of this for a thing. So we could end, but it's just more cards. These are good cards, though. Ah. Ah, okay. Giving them cards feels bad, man. But, you know, it's again, it's that time where that metal is a psychic energy and we're groovy. We're chilling. And again, huh, this list is just so much worse than the... I just know it's worse than the pure psychic list. I may just cut the warp and play the pure psychic list for the next few games. <laughs> Good lord. There's just no way that it's... That this is better. There's just no way. We lost to Weavile, for God's sake. <laughs> Although the other list would actually probably be worse against Weavile. <laughs> because... I played... Yeah, I was playing against Sorrow like Weaver one. this weekend, and it was, it was a puzzle, hmm. to say the least. I went, I think, two, three against it, so it's definitely winnable. But it was. Bears, you're liking Aquabox, nice. Longden Samuel, how's it going? As the injured leg got to my head, cutting wob. Have I tried Zygarde yet? Not online, actually. Only IRL so far. It was so disappointing that I've not tried IRL yet. I mean, online yet. The Aquabox this has done amazing on TCGO. I knew that one of these formats, Aquabox, would be good. <laughs> Aquapatch is an insane card, you know. One of these days, it'll do a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Is Mimikyu better than Mew? In the pure psychic build, I'm pretty sure Mimikyu is better than Mew. In this Mimikyu build, is insane. Yeah. Mimikyu is bonkers. <laughs> In this build, it may be different. I'm going to put the Lele down because it can energy drive this boy. And that's the only likely response I'm going to have here. You could also give me an N instead of a Cynthia, but I think it... I think it may not be right. We'll just uh, stick with Cynthia for now. Thin the choice band, I think that's fine. How does Jack feel he has less CP than Mango? <laughs> tears. Genuine tears, friends. Is our guru in here? Guru's in here. Okay, we can make things happen. We can plonk this little fella down. And hope that our guru gets us a basic psychic. Or a metal even. For an energy drive response. If not, it's time for Filch and Cry. Ah, excellent. Excellent news. Whoa. <clears throat> See what their four card hand is like. Why is Mimikyu good if you're already a one shot deck? 
because it's a one-shot Pokemon for two energy that's also a single prize Pokemon. Is the Dex answer to Ultra Necrozma? Because you can't... You, you, you have Ultra Necrozma's attack, but you don't need the Metal Energy. And they're just like, oh, uh, huh. that's, a, that's a better attack. <laughs> Turns out. I play Mimikyu because I like the art. Yeah, NH, I mean, you could probably just call it Turbo Lapras or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the PTSD thing's a decent shout, Mad Captain. Although the deck plays so differently from the Lapras deck I played that it is completely different, really. Tiger, you've been playing Zygarde Online to good success? Not bad. <laughs> How's it going, Nico? <laughs> oh dear. So that's why you call it Aqua Box, huh? Mm -mm. Nice draw as well. That is, that is the good stuff right there. Is Guru about to get in there? I think he is. How different is a Guru attacking to a Lele attacking? Because he pro he can't Guzma the Lele if the Lele is active. That's a fact. Um, so really it's a little ambitious to just go for a 60 damage Psychic in the active. But we're already doing a 70 to the active. I guess he could just float out and attack with a Mew with the Ultra Necrozma. Yeah, it's still worth attacking with the Guru. It's still worth. It forces a Guzma, and we know he doesn't have the Malamars in his hand. So it means he's likely only taking one prize. Even though we're already at odd prizes, I think it's still reasonable to do this. Because it means our two squids on board are basically safe if he takes this single prize. How important are the two mana fees in Aquabox? 120 HP scares me. That's the comment I get more than anything else. <laughs> and... I think in about 30 odd games, I think Manaphy has been KO'd twice. Typically, they have to go after energy in the deck. And if they're going for, like, unless they're winning by KOing the Manaphy, sure. Um, they. They need to target the energy every time. So Manaphy is just chilling so often. So. Um, I'm pretty sure it's fine. It's obviously a liability against Zoroark. That's the biggest time you need to be careful about it. And you have to think that the alternative is to play like Floatstones. And you can't Floatstone a Lapras because it has to have a choice band on it. Because otherwise it's math is poo. So there's no option. <laughs> you have to play a Manaphy build. Because you, you can't put a Floatstone on a Lapras and be happy about it. Mark's never missed an attack in Lapras, and he plays zero mana fee. Yeah, Mark plays no mana fee and no e-switch. I don't agree with it, but sure. 
I think E-Switch and Manaphy have both been very important to me. And the fact that he plays for Floatstone also concerns me. Ah, uh, stove top. You drew pretty poor, man. Unlucky. Goku. Man, I'd love to help you out with Buzzwells. I actually gave a friend of mine three Buzzwells like a couple of days ago, but that was basically all my trade fodder from this new set went into getting Buzzwells for this guy. Mm. Couldn't you play Wishy Washy with the ability to bounce itself instead? 30 HP Pokemon in Buzzwell meta? Let me just vomit real quick. Man, Nico's drank something today, man. <laughs> aight, aight. Not a bad hand. Does the monkey go in the bin? Um... Nah, we can play the monkey and actually draw from him. And it's we know it's going to be a psychic energy. So let's just do that, obviously. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, what are the chances? Okay. Our oh, hand is terrible. Uh, we can pass. <laughs> Glad to see punishment. I mean, realistically, of the cards that we could have drawn from our deck, how many cards are bad to draw at that point? Additional supporters potentially, but then we could use the other additional supporters. So realistically, it was Guzma, Malamar, other Malamar, third, so three Malamars, three Guzmas, six. Tools were fine to just insta-play because we don't care about them in this matchup because this KOs everything. I mean, there's not actually that many reasons to not do it. I stopped saying words logically there, but you know what I mean. We, a very low amount of cards is actually punishing there. And it's an extra draw. Uh, speaking of extra draw... Mm, 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 mm. Stalling play or aggro? Aggro, aggro, aggro. Okay. See the deck and clunk. Yeah, but we're not out of the game. We in it, boys. We in it. In it to win it. You haven't missed the Toronto talk yet, no. Any more analysis battle vids coming this week? Hopefully this week, between me and Joe, we'll have... Uh, three different Buzzwall decks. Hmm. Maybe we should split those up a little bit. Yeah. Actually, we've just done a lot of Malamar so far. We haven't talked about Buzzwall at all yet. So, it's probably not bad that we have a week talking about Buzzwall, since it seems to be quite good. What are you doing here, Fury Belt? Once I've got rid of two field blowers. Hmm. Not changing the math at all, though. 
You still have times two weakness, my friend. You're not a steel frying pan. <laughs> You're not a fighting frying pan. <laughs> wow, three buzzwords except you know. Ooh. We like to give varied comment over here uh, content over here on the book. Compunk Zero is now following. Thank you very much. That's great news. Oh, beast energy, no. Get me out of here, Guru. You wizard. Beast energy, no. Uh, we can actually do some squiddly diddlyin. <laughs> some what, say? Squiddly diddlyin. Hmm. I don't think I've used that. I don't think I've heard of that term before, if I'm honest. No. It's from ancient Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Nah. Man, I haven't played this card like nearly enough. Eight sixteen, seventeen eighteen. Okay. We can attack with this fully and be happy. Eight times tables plus two. Oops. It's been super underwhelming for you. Man, you crazy, man. Flying bird, I'm good, dude. I'm good. USA. USA. I guess attacking with this uh, this guy is one reason why we could have thought about attaching to this guy. I mean, attacking with this guy. We've already got rid of two Lele's. Yeah, so we can't just chill and pick up a Guzma on this. Unless we top deck it or guru into it. Both are options. Delicious and powerful options. That if we want to win the race, we probably need to do Guru OP. Oh, he's going for this guy. Okay. One twenty, one thirty four, one fifty, one sixty. Oh, oh, you play both, you cheeky beggar. That is... That is naughty. See, it's at this exact point where you're like, we can definitely lose the race if we miss... Guzma here. Da, da, da. So we just grab one. Thinning strats. Man, Guru's carrying hard. He's got this old deck on his back right now. I shouldn't have Psychic Recharged first. I should just draw cards first. Oops. 
Oh, what an absolute banana master. I see a banana, and I raise you a master. Banana master doesn't go in this deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a god. Epa, just letting us know that there's a new meme. Nice, nice. Oh, oh yeah. Are we on the ladder? Oh, we need three hours. We ain't gonna get there. I believe. Food at Nashville is gonna change our lives. Hope so. I am pretty much one chicken wing away from obesity, though. So. <laughs> what a beautiful phrase. <laughs> Only for a page. Oh, yes. Wild Zoho Arca Jack has appeared. Mm. Zorlark. Can't really use Dawn Wings too happily in this matchup, which is a shame because the deck is a little reliant on it. Old Greg GG is now following. Oh yes, I introduced my housemate to Marty Boosie of a day. <laughs> and he he loves it. I haven't watched it for like a year, so it's it's nice to go back and watch it. Dumb series, but fun series. Oh, he had Bonnie. What are my thoughts on the new prize penalty rules? It can only be good for the game. There's less ability for people to admit, uh, manipulate the rules in a favourable way from prize penalties, as was potentially the case in the past. So, And especially if they continue, like design space-wise, it allows them to continue to push like behind on prizes type cards like counter catcher and counter energy especially if we move away from, well when eventually n rotates we're going to need more cards that helps you get back into the game so mm. i think it's important to allow the design space of these powerful things um without the headache of there being potential manipulation so it's all good Double guru? No, that ain't. That's that's a, that's something. I've seen no foodings luxury comedy. Yeah, I've seen that too. I watched like one or two episodes. Didn't get into it the same as Boosh, but it wasn't. It wasn't the same as Boosh. It was. It was alright, but it wasn't. It wasn't Boosh. Guru draws to try and hit mm. ourselves a metal energy. Now that's now that's the hype we're talking about. Oh yes. Now that's the fun stuff. Twenty forty sixty, so we can't copycat a KO. Uh, hmm. 
I guess we're just going to try and uh, load them up. I guess we go all three. Let's see a huge reason to not. Um, do we play around another parallel city by using Mysterious Treasure and Leleing now? I think we do, because our hand is so sloppy otherwise. I think we just grab Cynthia, though. I kind of like Nimiku as an option. Do I? Nah. He's not a one-hit KO deck. I should just grab Sycamore. <laughs> Top decks too often get them. Do we think the strike and one, uh, strike and one, strike and run dump pass will be staple after rotation? It's still too early to say what the format's gonna be like post rotation. I feel we haven't seen the full set yet. For starters. Do you think Ultra and Acrosma will spark a resurgence in Guardi? Probably not. It'll still be kept out, I think, by um, Buzz. <clears throat> and the fact that there'll be non-Ultra and Acrosma builds as well. Super overkilling this guy. <laughs> I do look jacked in the meme. Goku the best. Thanks for following, dude. You're not wrong. Can someone follow up on Nico? <laughs> <laughs> you already bought your Expedition um... copycats? Oh, boy. Expedition. That's one of my favorite sets. In all of Pokemon. There's some other good sets. There's some EX sets that have good copycat artworks as well, actually. Copycat's been blessed with some good artworks. How good's copycat? Depends on the meta, really. It's typically seen play in some formats and not seen play in others. Oh, nice draw. How many times have I said that today? Also, a wild cat has appeared on my lapo. Will Mr. the mine be a good stall deck? Almost certainly not. <laughs> Almost certainly not. Even with people trying to get creative, saying like play Lysander Labs and stuff like that to make Choice Band not completely wreck you. People play stadiums, people play field blowers. And people play more than one attacker in decks. <laughs> All these things make Mr. Mime both of them 
pretty bad. And there's Galvador as well, so... There's all sorts of reasons why the mimes are probably terrible. Never wonder what happened to Mrs. Mime. Mr. Mimes can breed as well. That's the... That's the cruel reality. Not really a cruel reality, but just a reality. Oh, the cat's gone just out of shot. She's rubbing her head on the desk, like a any normal, reasonable creature would do. I'm going to profile Pyro. I've started testing it. I had like five games. It was pretty weak. So, on the back burner until we uh, get some of the other good stuff out there first. Wow, she, she's here. She's arrived. For cuddles. Tyrantrum out. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Here we go. Downhill from here. What's the cat's name? It's called Pooperson. I did mm. not name her. Just letting you know. Lies and deceit. Oh, that's a pretty big turn from them. Pretty big turn, not gonna lie. We're doing some good stuff this turn, though. We got a pretty good response. I think we grab... This guy... And I think we're gonna grab a Guru as well. I'd rather sack a Cynthia here than the Metal Energy. Is my favourite booze rum? No, this is this actually says rum ham. I don't know if any of you watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but it's uh, it's a t-shirt based on that TV show. I don't actually drink rum. I had a classic teenage experience that put me off it. Mm. So. Yeah. But I love that TV show. Are we putting the cat in the cam? Yeah, there she is. You saw a ship the other day called Little Joe. <laughs> oh dear. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they can get the old... Uh... <laughs> you offer me an egg in this trying time. Exactly. Oh, H2, don't spoil Westworld. I've not... Uh, I watched Series 1, loved it, but I've not watched any of the second oh, series. Oh, I haven't, I haven't watched any of it yet. I'm looking forward to watching it over summer. We don't want to see Joe's little Joe, though. No. No, we don't. Flying Birder. I like OG Necrozma, but this has been doing okay so far. I don't think we've lost yet with this. <sighs> this is probably going to be the closest way to lose, though. Season 2 has been fire. Nice. I'm glad. I thought it was... 
uh, one of those series that's going to be hard to follow up on. So I'm glad to hear that it's uh, impressing you. I should definitely end first, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. They've got rid of four puzzles and two choice bands, so I feel safe. So now sharing 179 bits. Don't know why that number's relevant, but thanks so much, dude. Thanks so much. Maybe it's a conversion rate thing. You pretty just finished One Punch Man. Yeah, that's a pretty good show. We need Banana Master on the bench. We really do. Cynthia ain't gonna cut it, I don't think, pal. Pal of mine. Unless you got a sneaky greedy dice in there. <laughs> That's one of those things where IRL, you just show them both. <laughs> and say hello <laughs> how many parallel did they do that game was it three parallels they did to us that game I was worried about their band because the Lele could DC band Guzma KO if they had puzzle pieces. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17. Oh, no, 17 isn't 19. They couldn't. I shouldn't have been worried. Hmm. My bad. Nick, how's it going, dude? We were playing around multi switch. <laughs> Senpai. <laughs> Lil sis, I don't know what that Japanese phrase is. Seventy isn't ninety. Joe twenty eighteen. It's always one of those things where you're like, one seventy is a two prize knockout. Nah. Nope. 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 Not when you need energy on the one ninety eight point thing, and you don't have a lele on your board. This has gone rather well. If I do say so myself. We don't need to play around stadium because we're already holding blower. So. Oh, 
I'm alive. This damage isn't affected by weakness. Ah, that's why I'm alive. This could be our first loss of the evening. This very much could. <laughs> Didn't want to play What's around there. Over there? We could have though. We could have been a man about town and promoted. But we do play four field blower, so it feels reasonable to not want to. Do we have our other two blowers in deck? No. Okay, so we have to Cynthia instead of Sycamore this hand. I tried so hard and got so far. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, we all know Guru's getting us over the line. We already know. That's the joy. The joy of movement. The joy of joy is. Literally the joy of movement. Normie music. Donna, Donna, Donna. Yeah. yeah, it was asking a little bit. Look. I do want to attach one to a Lele just for, again, retreating options slash some essence of response to a Candy Guardy cry. Candy Guardy tears. Oranger is carrying the deck a little bit. I'm glad I've added him to the deck. Those cynics out there, not wanting the guru. Yeah, Ma, of course I watched Naruto. Watched it since I was like 12. Even the fillers. <laughs> Who does that? Gross. Would you also play Guru in the other build? Yes, I do. Nah, Fez, it, it. Yeah. This GX attack would be absolutely insane if you could use it at any point in the game. <laughs> like. Just there'd be no way that that card wouldn't be banned. You miss Omnicat? She's around. She, she might come come back to me soon. She's chilling on the sofa. She's a free spirit, though. She does her own thing. <gasps> dunna, dunna, dunna. Survival. Drawn for that. Am I playing against Luke? There's a Mega Mewtwo and a Claw Ritzer on my screen. There's no way it's not Luke. It's his second account. The Avatar's got a beard as well. <laughs> it must be. It literally must be. There aren't any other people in the world with beards. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Yeah, I mean, sure. Damage is damage. Let's go ahead and do it. Where is Luke? I don't know where Luke is actually. Who named him? Cooperson? Um, it was, well, it's my brother's cat, but I don't think he even named it. I think it was a girl who he was living with who named the cat Pooperson. They actually had rude names, um, but when they went to the vet to get chipped or whatever, um, they had to write down the names of the cats, and obviously they didn't want to write down the rude names, so they, on the spot, came up with, 
uh, Pooperson. And the other one was called uh, Snarky, uh, which my mum has now changed to Sparkles, which I still think is terrible. Um, I've not thought of a good name for that cat, though. You never really see the other cat, just in the background, in the, basically hiding behind the curtain the whole time. Um, but yeah. I don't mind Pooperson. Pooperson's a funny name. Ooh. Hi, Mimikyu! Attack! Get on. Do I want to thin an extra card anywhere? I guess if all of our squids are gone, we might as well get rid of another squid. Mark would name every cat after an anime girl, even the male cats. More card thinning. This is a good card though, isn't it? Good old Ultra Ball. We have lost our other Lele though, so it's not actually a great card. More thinning, please. Die, die, die. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Misplay, Benny. Misplay. Pack, huh? Did they mallow instead of uh, instead of Guzma? Because if they did, we win. Da -da -da. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. All goes. Is it better for us to take the GX two prizes this turn? Or to just remove a Zoroark from the board whilst ending? Let me think about that for a second. Yeah, it's definitely better to GX, because then we have energy spread. Everywhere. So even if we promote this... Yeah, okay. Cats being loud in the background. I think it's best for us just to GX here. Yep, 
Yeah, it means this doesn't get potentially trapped. Pretty sure pow, there's pow, no way pow. we lose now. That was a pretty good turn, Jay. I can't, GX? Yeah, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, I'm an idiot. Whoops. That was the wrong Pokemon, friend. Why not the clean one? Yeah, it really doesn't matter. This one has a float stone, so it's more flexible. I think I'd rather a guru than a squid at this point. Even if he uses Guzma, we have... Uh... 160. Ooh, actually. Uh, let me think. Yeah, yeah, we just attach and yeah. We'd rather a guru. PC evolutions now have gold dice. Oh boy. But, mm. but I have game on board. You know I have game on board. It's on the board. That's that's what it means to have game on board. Beating a Zoro Gardi. Yeah, we did it. Mm. They definitely shouldn't have mallowed the turn they mallowed. They should have Guzmod our damaged Ultra Necrozma. Then we're actually in a spot. Malamar hasn't lost yet, I don't think. I think we're streaking. Can't remember losing. Win streak. Mum, get the camera. Do you hear me? Get me that camera now. Hello. Oh, okay. I was about to start saying it's over, but maybe it's not. Um, is it still worth us getting a big daddy out, or is it worth us just grabbing Guru? Guru is just such a champ at times. Such a champ. I mean, can, there's even a debate to this. Uh Decisions. What's on turn two? Our turn two is evolve. Evolve. Grab this sycamore. With a float stone. I guess having the option if we hit metal energies instead of just pure psych energies. This is still right. It's weird putting this on your board though. It is weird putting it on. But oh well. Do I want to protect Mimikyu? They can hit 70 turn one. I think because we're trying to one-hit kill them the whole time, we can actually just send up the Chicken Nugget Man. Very active. 
protect the potential one prize that they can take, especially because Mimikyu's insane. Oh yeah, Jack, you're right. We we are not unbeaten. We did take that at L. Greg, you're a fan of Lucario Lycanroc. I do have it built. I have it built. Before the stream started, I tried to build as many decks post Forbidden Light as possible just to have them in the old waiting room. We're testing Malamar today, though, as much as pass. Yeah, boy. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one ten, and say one sixty. That's not one seventy. Hmm. What do we want? We want letter Ultra Ball. That's a bit of a dream. Uh, we can't draw any cards even with Guru Meister. Do we want a Filch here? They already have sixty. Hmm. This is really bad. Bad news, bears. If I attach this energy, I mean, maybe he's not going to be good if he just jet punches again, right? Okay, we, we have to attach this energy somewhere. Mysterious Treasure obviously can't get Guru, because it's only for Psychic Pokemon, remember. Let's just do that. What would I play in Tours if I was going? Uh, Zora Garb. Comfortable with it, and I think it's strong. Blisspod Baby Lorantis. Is there any consensus on Quad Zygarde yet? Psychic Guru reprint. That would be pretty hype. Uh, I don't think it's a closed case, but I think... So far, it's been very unimpressive. Yeah, J Dog, I think it's pretty good for the format. And, I mean, I've been preaching Zorogarb since forever, and finally there's been tournament results backing it up, so I'm pretty happy. Day Uno. <laughs> the first tournament with Ultralight. Ultralight? Ultra Prism released. Joe played that. Missing all of our discarding cards feels bad. Very <sighs> good, Diantha and Arceus. I haven't given it much thought, I'll be honest. Um, Diantha's a very good card. I think, basically, since Hooper died, I'm a lot... Well, sorry, Hooper didn't die, but Shaman died, which made Hooper much worse. Which entail makes uh, Rainbow Road a lot less speedy, and that makes me very skeptical mm -hmm. of how good it is. It was already clunky even with Shame and Draw to help you burst. We really want to start plucking out some uh, Inkes from our prizes here. We should probably look at Toronto results after this as well, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Mark's the OG. But he didn't play mm. balloons. Boo. Is it even Zorigarb if you don't play balloons? That's my question. <laughs> J Dog, would I play blends or rainbows? I would play basic psychic energy. Holy water. Frank did not play balloons. Fabian did not play balloons. <laughs> what a coincidence. We 
They all played Cartana. Oh, dude, nice powerful response, KO. Be a shame if I were to copycat literally right now. <laughs> Pro hand thinning strats so that we can super rod. Broken. All right, Guru's definitely staying in this list. There ain't no way I'm not playing it now. Can I show this list? Sure. Well, I got top four in Toronto. I believe he did, yeah. not the most compelling argument that the only person who's doing well with a balloon build has been seen to be stacking. <laughs> that doesn't help my argument. I'll admit that. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I'm not... It, it's so much harder to play a build that doesn't play balloons because you need to be so disciplined. I prefer to just play balloons so I can trade as much as I like. <sighs> oh, Pan Flam. Here's Kirkham. Well, it wasn't a GX attack. I mean, it was a GX attack, so there's not game on board. Good job then. Should have got rid of this. Don't know why I didn't. You can very much lose here. Rename those frogs. Buzz frogs. What goes? I'm going to try and make it less likely that they can, uh, I don't know, gust something up and kill it. Who knows? Cheers, Mad Captain, for censoring. It's 2018, guys. Come on. Can't we all just get along? I have mod in this chat. Purple bands would fly all over. 
Well, log. Damn, you got me. A loss. What is this feeling? <laughs> Mark. <laughs> You also need to chill, dude. Damn it. H2 just took a little globe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Brigetti, where are you? No. I mean, we still have a load of bull search, so. But it still ain't pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's probably still fine. We started an NK. We can grab an NK. Wall of Jimmy cleans the chat. The wall of Jim Jams. Well, things have happened here, haven't they? We guarantee a KO on a Zerua, though. chat Lil Jim Jams Luke if you're around you can uh, you can hop in if you want no I don't want to speak to Luke I refuse oh, I shuffled these codes into exactly the right order huh Wizard. When Sheffield, let's go. I'm actually so excited to play a big tournament again. I haven't played anything since February. Other than cups. It's a coming. It's coming soon. Oh, Twenty three days until my exams are done as well. Just in general, oh, it's pretty good. Such a happy bunny. You were going to, but Jack's so mean. Where? Yeah. Is he gonna end us? Do you want to add you in, Luke? No. Ban Jack IMO. <laughs> Only Bernard. Only Joe. I think it's unwise to leave the channel to one man who can barely put his socks on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, True story. <laughs> Bless your heart, Joe One man who currently can barely put his sockies on. <laughs> Little sockos. In the morn. In the morn. In the morn. Oh dear. I mourn for my socks. Perma banana, Jack. I actually have some bananas over there. Against my bed, Josh. No, no, Sam. Yeah. I'm trying to tempo out prizes because this hand is trashed here. So let's just hope that works out, shall we? Let's just hope that works out. <laughs> Mm. 
We set up Skywalker. Mm-hmm. Omni hop along. <laughs> Photon geyser. So yeah, I've got no idea whether I'm adding you in, Luke. I'm adding you in. Curricula, yeah, I mean, we didn't deserve top four. It would have been, like, injustice for us to have got it. But the performance against Newcastle was abysmal. It was abysmal. <laughs> I was actually watching it with Tamau, who's a Newcastle fan as well. I was not happy. Rayquaza GX or Bulu with Vika Vault. Uh, I've not looked at Rayquaza enough. I can't remember what its attacks are. Its GX attack draws like 10 cards though, which looks cool. It's dump yeah. and draw 10, which is wild. The regular attack is um, Grass Lightning Colorless. It's 30 times the amount of Grass Lightning Colorless on your board. Uh, grass Lightning on your board. All I need to do here is top deck. That's it. Is it bad? I want you to get a cyborg leg. Easy. Easiest top deck of my life. Joe, get a cyborg leg. What even is a cyborg leg? I don't know. My captain wants you to get one. Do they exist? The thing about this is... Uh, I mean, we do still have our super odds. Tempo, 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 tempo. You heard me. Oh, Thanks. let's Eat. order correctly. I mean, what's the fun in just using a Cynthia here? No, we definitely are. So, if we... It should have actually been a Sycamore. I'm done. You need to draw more cards. I needed to dump this energy instead of attach it. Mm. Oh, I made an error. Wow, was an error. Damn. Damn. Because even in even in this sort of case, I could have still tapped it cured. Yeah, bad bad times. The bad times are coming. That was the bad thing. Oh no, this is this is really disappointing. Even drew the super rod. It would have been dandy. It would have been absolute dandy lions. Uh, dandy lions. We've messed this up. Wouldn't have missed that with a cyborg leg. Is that even an option, Joe? Time to go, Robo. Uh, nets. Oh, what have I done here? Man, how insane would it be if we could get the two prize turn here? With the GX attack. How insane. Think of the insanity. Think of the children. Do I want to thin any more psychic energies? Sure. Just think of this. Just think of it. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, it would be so game over if we could have as well. Uh, rap scallion. Would we have won if that had, if we had actually got that combo? I mean, it's asking a lot, right? We hit. Two perfect cards out of the three perfect cards we needed. 
That would have been spice lounge, though. We had. I think it's still better just to get this attachment in. Pass. Man, that would have been insane. Yeah, I'd play three blower. That was our that was our clock though. Ah, Luke is here. I'll add him, Jack. Alrighty. The win streak is turning into a loss streak. What's going on here, boys? Oh no. Hello. Here he comes. Oh, that's loud. Oh, let me just move all the in. <clears throat> yeah, grab a drink. We look at results. What was Joseph's second name again? Oh, boy. You called Joseph. I love it. Joseph's not even my first name. But it's fun. Joseph Bernard. The Beadle. Oh, yeah, that's that's what we like to name as Joseph Beadle. The 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 Beadle. The Beadle 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 the Beadle. That got us to eighteen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, it got us over. Okay. Uh, so the plan we do have one. Uh. <laughs> uh <laughs> All the names are coming out. Yes, plan. Plan involves doing... All right. Yes. Joe, Joey, Joseph II. second. What? Second? You crazy? According to Mark. First of his name. <laughs> I should probably play this float. Float a Rooney. Float a Rulio. Um, let me think of some things. Wait, I've, I've just lost, right? Yeah, I don't know why I'm playing anymore. We, we lose on board. Yep. Yep. <laughs> why am I trying to think of ways to win? It's over. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he has two prizes. He has two prize cards. Gold. <laughs> All that thought, then you're like, if I do that, then do that, and then... Oh, no, mm. dead. Dead, dead, dead. Red Dead Redemption. Right, here's a quick snapshot of the list. Mm, what have we learned? Viru is a champ. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Jury's still out mm. on Ultra Necrozma. He hits like an absolute machine, though. So fair play to him. <laughs> he doesn't do bad for himself. Potentially we can play a 2-2 split, though. Just go up an extra Psychic Energy. I felt myself whiffing on Psychic Energy a little bit. Mark, do you not see the value of Guru in the last like ten games we've had? Play two to watch the arena space. Be all right. <laughs> Everyone plays Brooklyn Hill. Makes sense. Exactly. Broken. Put more Zoroark's in. Hmm. Anyway, that's uh, where we're at at the moment with Ultra Neck. What's sort of the value of not benching Lele because of Guru? I mean, would we have even had hands that were workable without it? I don't know. Probably not. No Mew is a disgrace. It's a disgrace. 
Absolute disgrace. A disgrace. Uh, yeah. He is reasonable. The disgrace. Bench space has been. No Mew is a disgrace, though. though. Potentially, you can cut to one. Uh, sorry, you can cut one Ultra and a Crosma from Mew. See how it goes for you. Did you miss Toronto results? No, not yet. Could be good. Yeah, there's still work to be here. Uh, work to be done here. Work to be here done. Mm. Anyway, that's that for now. Let's go ahead and pop ourselves over to the Limitless Tussaga. Tukug. Tukug. Oh, they've actually updated it. They've got the top 32 results now and not just the top 8, which they had earlier. Those guys do us proud. Get it done just in time for a stream. What absolute champoons they are. You did it just for the stream. Huh? I did it just for the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Aight, you know where we're at. Limitless TCG website. Place to go for recent results and uh, deck lists and all that jazz, my funkiness. Toronto was 558 masters. Reasonable. Maybe on the lower side of NA tournaments. Yeah. Uh, it was won by Daniel Altavia playing Buzzwall Lycanroc. This is still uh, pre-Forbidden Light, by the way. So, we got ourselves the standard, really. Choosing not to play Zygarde, like the Internet's winning list. Um, playing pseudo, double Mew, so sticking with Azul's approach, I think. But instead of the 11 energy, he's just going for the 10-4 split. Four Sycamore, four Guz, two and two Cynthia. So a little bit a little bit thin on the old supporter line. A little bit on the cheeky side. Sometimes we normally see one extra Cynthia in this little slot right here. Maxing out on the big things, the Ultra Ball Elixir, Choice Band, three Floaterunios, and three Brooklyn Hills. Uh, again, there's very little variation going on with these Buzz Rocks. We've beaten Buzz Rock to death at this point. You all know what's happening. Yeah. Frank was playing Zoro Garb. And he was playing a different list to Fabian's. He was playing a 3 3 Zoro line, a 3 2 of the uh, attacking Trasher Launchers. Garbodors and only one ability locker. So it's um it's more similar to like a Zoropod shell, no, a Glissopod Garb shell. Because it's only the 3 3 Zoro arc line. Playing three Lele, one Drampa GX, as well as the Kartana GX. Drampa gets value from the rainbow energies, of course. Um for berserking. Righteous Edge is also an option in Zoroark mirror matches, if you can go for like a Righteous Edge plus a Toxin play with an N or something like that, you can try and poke a Zoroark, get it into range of your other Zoroark, because he's playing, of course, uh, two choice bands to try and make that happen with puzzles. So, yeah, the Kartana again showing up. Um, seems reasonable, I guess. It's doing well, it's doing well, huh? At least this time they're not playing Ihama and Kartana. He's just picking the one, so... Yeah. That makes me a little happier. And he's playing Mew X to have more response to the... The early game Buzzwells. Obviously Trash Launch helps you later on. But the Mew is the instant early game response. 3N, 3 Guz. Only the 2 Bridget, 2 Cynthia, 2 Sycamore, and 1 Ace Roller. A um, little bit interesting line. No Mallow being played. Uh, only the one Ace of Roller. Pretty interesting stuff. He's playing three Field Blower. Because, of course, he's not playing the Ballon d'Or list. As I like to call it. Uh, so you need to blow your own tools sometimes. You're a clown, Joe. Yeah, there's definitely oh, we just play your there. Stuff? My bad, my bad. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> clip. clip it. Clown, clip geez. it up. It's 
So he's playing three field blower, two Evo Soda and no enhanced hammer, which I really like actually because you really want to play two Evo Soda. It's just so much better for consistency. So I love that decision from Frank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> One rescue stretcher. Sure, why not? <laughs> Four float stone. Two choice bands. Six total tools with puzzlers. That's fine. One P city, as is pretty staple with most Sora builds. An eight energize. That's chill, I guess. Are we ever going to settle on a list? We've seen so many variations of Zora Garb now. Where do we go from here? I think now that the deck is seeing more play, I think eventually one list will become the overall. Not, I don't. I don't want to say better list because I guess it will potentially be better list. But mm. like at the start of at the start of Ultra Prism when there was only a few people playing it and there was it it, it felt like not much of a surprise that someone took it in a different direction. Yeah. With, uh, but but now more people know about the deck. I think because there'll be more games and more data with the deck, it will soon see which which list is better. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just time, and it just it just happens that the decks come out at the end of the for at the end of like the format cycle rather than the start of the format cycle. Mm -hmm. That's why we're still messing around with lists with one week to go. Yeah, that's true. It's weird. I know that the the non balloon lists have had the more success, but I still think going into Forbidden Light I still really like balloons. <laughs> I still just really like but I can't get off the balloon train, you know? I think Do love your balloons. So good. I think double trash launch is more likely to be a must. I think at least yep. three of the non DC energies required. Not sure how much I like the Drampa. Especially not moving forward with a fighting focus mana. Yeah. It seems risky. I'm still not sure on. Uh... Not sure on Kartana. I don't know. I keep seeing it. I keep he he keeps being there. Um, in lists. But I, I so off. Uh, maybe I'm devaluing the GX attack. I don't know. I just. It's tough. People trying to force you into a seven prize game. Yeah. That's where the option from them. I mean, it means you don't need Guzma for game. You can get either Guzma or an energy card. But if you're playing a Zora, this is the thing. Like, if you're playing a Balloon Zora list, you can just trade your way to game. Uh, this card, Katana, could be a Balloon. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's kind of that's what I'm getting at here, lads. Katana was super See, is in, in a lot of decks against Evolution decks, for example. Your first prize is usually a knockout on a non-GX, and then you want to take two GX knockouts, which obviously puts you with the five prizes, so Katana can come in there and get that last prize. That is how six prizes works. So you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that math. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, let me just... Yeah, it checks out. It does check yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. That's sick. <laughs> Oh dear. All right, Gustavo with the alternate list. He too is playing Kartana. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. What's going on here, lads? Uh, what? He's playing Dustnane Necrozma. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? He's playing Dustnane Necrozma promo. 60 snip. 60 snip. Good hmm. lord. Just had space. He did just have space. space. Gustavo also went for the uh, the heavier trash launch route, so that seems to be getting more and more staple. That's fine. Yeah. He went for a full four trub, so trying to establish those. Instead of playing Mew, he played a Mew 2, though, which he did in the last tournament as well. Three Lele's gone down from his four count to fit in a Dustman across my hook. Um... <laughs> <laughs> M3 goes with two Bridget, one Cynthia, one Sycamore, one Acerola. Again, not playing Mallow, which surprises me. 
Four eligible for puzzle. Two blower, one Evo Soda, one E Hammer. So the Kartana E Hammer combo is being played in both lists. Interesting. Four Ballon Doors. What a champ. Two choice bands of one Flower Rooney and a Parallel City. So again, just because it's more like what I've tested, I'd, I'd go towards a list more like this one. One floats down. Yeah. It just is a little, one. Little, little cheeky, that, isn't it? I played two. I play two, two, and four balloons, but that's just me. Don't need Malo if you stack, that's true. What on earth is that? That is speeding vehicles right next to my It's ears. not me this time. Uh, it's, it's my quaint little quiet village with some speedsters. Zoropod with Ian Robb doing well, so he's been championing that deck for a long time now. Jose Marrera playing Zoro Rock still. Uh, we got the pseudo Wudo counter energy combo being played in his list for some mirror shenanigans. He's got Mewtwo and Mew, and oh my god, what has happened here, boys? <laughs> Shaman. Shaman there. That's a Shaman. He's playing. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to justify it. <laughs> it, it. It's for mirrors, though, right? It's for, it's for Buzz Rock and for mirrors, I guess. That is pretty cheeky. Pretty Spice Lord. Three Bridget, three N, two Cynthia, two Guz. Only two Guz, interesting. Even with the Lycan Rock, that's a little little cheek bag. One Sycamore, one Kakui. He's playing Mallow, one Acerola. Four, four. As many as three field blower. He's not playing his own parallel. Interesting. One Evo Soda. Everyone's gone to the one. Uh, uh, yeah, nanny. Plus, why isn't this a nanny. why isn't this a timer ball, yo? Come on, people, get it together. Oh lord. If you're gonna play this in Zoro Rock, it should actually be a timer ball. That's all I'm saying. One multi switch. Even more spice. Jose well, said Parallel sucks. <laughs> My soul. The soul that yeah. I don't have is crushed right now. I watched this game against Daniel Altavir in top eight, I think it was. Uh-huh. And he whiffed energy. He, he, he definitely would have won. He would have got energy at certain points. He just kept oh, whiffing. Rip. Every turn. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Why no Evo Soda? Uh, because Lycan Rock is an evolution card too, and you don't want an Evo Soda or Lycan Rock. So the versatility of Timeable should overtake the uh, the Evo Soda in that list. But anyway, a couple of Buzz Rocks in at sixth and seventh with some veterans, Sable House and Pendy, and Andrew Estrada with the support guard getting into the top eight. Some Canada representation, at least. Yeah, Again, double awesome trash. Seen that deck. Oh no, wait, sorry. One trash launch. But it looks like it hit the tipping point of uh, Garbador beating up the the Buzzwalls this tournament. He also played one Buzzwall GX, and I think in his Facebook post he said it was bust. So, interesting. Some people have tried <laughs> a different tech basic like Tauros and stuff like that but he was happy with Buzzwell yeah. stacked tournament <laughs> Sycamore's <laughs> ends Guzman Cynthia's Isarola one bridge this looks relatively standard Palpad is spice that's about it really Buzzwell GX and Goligarv is so November 2017 <laughs> Oh dear. So main Ahmed, ninth with Zoropod, a Buzz Garb with Sam Chen getting. Oh no, sorry, uh, with Will Mantho. Not bad, not bad. More Buzz Rocks. Gardevoir in the rear. The man, that is high up. Dennis Puroff, you absolute. If I click on this and there's a Talon Flame, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, thank God for that. 
Okay, Espigab. Zoracaria still doing well. More Zoro. Uh, more Glitzpod Garb. Interesting. We got a Bulu. 20th this time. That's more. That's more like it. <laughs> Stay down there, boy. Uh, Zoro Gardi. Zoro Gardi. More Zoro variants. A second Vikabulu. A Ho'o Salazzle made it in. And another Vikabulu right there. Did you just see Mienfu in Gardi? It can't be. There's just no way. There's just no way. Is there even legal Mianfu? Mewtwo, my friend. Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close. Mianfu. Oh, yes. So there you go. That's Toronto. That wraps up <clears throat> Forbidden uh, no, Ultra Prism format. And is it this weekend? Yeah, France is this weekend, right? Yeah. 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 Tours, yeah. That's come around quick, isn't it? Crazy days. I can't be there because my operation is on Friday. So, yeah. Luke and Jack aren't going either. Jack's examining it up or revising it up or yeah, something. Yeah, I've got an exam on Monday. And Luke has his eyes set on Valencia. Yeah, boy. Oh, yes. So, no Omni representation, unfortunately. I don't think there's many UK representatives, actually. I think Scott and Seb are going. Yeah, I know they are. And a couple of Norwich, oh, Norwich cool. players are going. There'll be some. Yeah. It's sort of the... Uh... Chasers for top 22, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. It's that point in the season where there's the top 22 people, the wannabe top 22 people, and maybe like the people just trying to squeak the invite if they can't make Sheffield or something. But it shouldn't appeal to yeah. too many people, really. I can't see it being over, like, 300 people. Even though France is quite an easy place to get to. It is, but I think Tours is quite difficult as far as France goes. That's all right. A bit further south. Okay. Mark's going Valencia as well. Get an attachment in. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 stupid. Oh dear. Where's Benji going to? Uh oh. Tours. We've got a problem, boys. I need the men's room. That's a problem. Because I'm in a game and I take forever when I have to use my crutches. Oh dear. I'm going to have to sack this game. I'm not even joking. Here's the thing. When you're crippled and you need the toilet, you need to give yourself a good five minutes pre-warning because, <laughs> my God, it's like doing Ninja Warrior from me trying to get to the toilet. I'll be honest. This is going to be tricky. So I'll be back in a sec. I'll just give you the list and you guys can chat. Say a sec. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of the stream, guys, because Joe won't be back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back until it'll pass in the night. <clears throat> you just make me cry. <laughs> oh. Off he goes. There he goes, off and along. Omni chairs back. Omni chairs back. The best member of Omni Folk, the Omni chair. The Omni chair, of course. Pooperson. Pooperson's the best, best member. <laughs> so, how's everyone's testing coming on for Sheffield? You've been doing much over the weekend. I did. I obviously went to that event with James and then oh, yes. played like maybe 10 games last night and I played probably five or six tonight. Um, and all I've found is Buzzwall is good. Not a bad guy, is it? 
got lots of options now. Mm, usually result in you winning the game. But hey. I'm going to work on some spice. We've got some new spice in the oven. Oh, have you? Oh, yes. What happened to the old spice? Um, It was very 50-50. Oh, have you given up on the old spice? Yeah. Mm, okay. In fact, there's a lot of games where it was... I think I won at least one. Maybe best of three. I think it was 2-2. Two, two. Best of three is mm. overall. So, yeah. Let's uh, put it on the back burner for now. There's a couple of things I still want to test. But I actually think I'm already maybe at I mean, three or four decks for Sheffield. Yeah. I'll only be down to two a couple of weeks before. Yeah, that seems ideal. Okay, we're back. We're back. Hi there. He's back, everyone. What's happening? What's going on? Sean wanted it. Sean wanted a game with you because he got a spicy tech for Buzzwall and Malamar matchups, apparently. Okay, and I'll play him after this. Oh. He's jumped right the ladder. Yeah. Against business as usual. But... Playing Turbo Bus this Saturday. Good luck, bud. It's pretty good. Is there cups already in this format? No, it's a. Uh... I don't think there are. I mean, I know for a fact they're not because no quarter cups have. No quarter four cups have been announced yet. Yeah, there was a post on Facebook, like, in before there aren't any. People would lose their minds. That would be interesting. <laughs> People would absolutely lose their minds. That would be very minds. interesting. No, there was definitely one advertised earlier today. Oh, is that right? 100%. Uh, Manchester. There, people, yeah, people have set aside dates for them, but they haven't had confirmation that they can have them yet. Because uh, uh, Chase Games uploaded theirs, like, at the same, the same date they... Uploaded their game, their cup for last quarter, um, but they just haven't had com- confirmation that they can have them yet. I think they just wanted to get the date in. Benji, I, I think uh, if you just mention me and say that I'm a philanthropist and a wizard, I think that's fine. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> Right, Tony Stark and <laughs> Doctor Strange combined. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeah, a philanthropist <laughs> wizard. I think that's enough. Made one change. Don't believe it. Guardy. Oh no, that weakness. That weakness, doe. So you're Ron Weasley. Ron's not a philanthropist. <laughs> it's far from it. I don't know if you bust out the Goomy deck, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that, actually. I've got to find some good strafe mons. You also made Neuvern on the way back. Yeah, there's been murmurings of Neuvern. I know Mark's played some games on stream with it as well. Debating Shining Celebi oh, for the Neubat. That's pretty gross. It's not in a town map. There's no way that's better than any of the cards that I play. There's just no way. Oh dear. You're being guarded. 
I am a little bit. You haven't really. I knew that would trigger you. the psychic energy but we got second chance pro aka Aranguru. the man himself second chance pro dun, 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 dun. No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> why god why <laughs> what are you saying about changing the energy count? Jack wants to play five. No, four. He actually did it in the video as well yeah. without my consent. Uh. We definitely discussed it. Yeah, and I said no. <laughs> you said you can pick. I want to look at this chat right now. Do it. You're having me on old. You are absolutely having me on. You're having me for a merry walk if you think that's what I said out loud. <laughs> I have to scroll, have to scroll through a little bit. Uh, um, okay. One of the cube decks first. <laughs> yes, yes. We promise we've been testing. <laughs> Testing the wrong of all that. I went for a cigarette, came back, and the cube is out. Ah, it's only quarter past twelve at night. Why not? <laughs> oh, as if he had another parallel in hand that turn. <laughs> God, um, I only smoke when I drink, guys. Don't worry. Uh, we were having a party. Uh, You're having a party? There was three of you. No, it's my mum's party. We're in the vicinity of a party whilst not partying. Yeah. Instead, we're playing yes. Party. So three cubes left in. <laughs> but we outlasted everyone else, so who's the real <laughs> yeah. party animal? Who are the real winners? I was ready for bed at about ooh, half eleven. Then the cube came out and I was like, oh, fine. Played till about quarter past four, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, you just got it, didn't you, mate? You just got it off the two cards. See you later. Uh, I don't even care if I'm not dead. Raging. Just done. Just done. Raging. <coughs> oh, sneeze again. Play the pure psychic build for half an hour. We have demonstrated Favorite why. Build. We want to. Uh, sorry, we've demonstrated why there are issues with the dual energy thing. <laughs> Joe's ready for Sheffield. <laughs> Has anyone got any idea whether the Sheffield venue is open on the Friday night? What's he thinking? He's thinking of things. Hold on. What for? Oh, I know why. Uh, oh, I, don't yes. you, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Oh, oh yes, I know not, why. It's not on our spreadsheet. It's not. It's not. Oh, it might be. Okay, it's not what I mentioned to you earlier on. It's the other thing that is on our spreadsheet. Yes. The thing you've been speaking to me about. Yes. 
Uh, like it. Mm, versus Garbage or Deck, three field blower, opening hand. <laughs> Just sick of him away, mate. <laughs> Get a okay. filter. Oh. We top deck then. It's chill. Oh, shock. First, I promise you, the first game of the tournament this weekend, my opening hand was Inky, six NG. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> this has gone wrong. Oh, Christ. I think I was the best supporter. Well, we do need a sycamore for next turn. All these decks are testing real well, I'm not going to lie. Impressing me, mate. Which ones? Mine? All of them, tonight. I think I only looked, before you came on, I lost one game. <laughs> So oh, come on, it's been oh dead draw. It's Very good. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a time where we thought we were onto something. That time has passed. <laughs> I mean who actually cares that they lose to a Guardi? Hitting a Guardi in a tournament's probably rarer than hitting a quad hooper, to be honest. Yeah. Not that we'd have been against Quad Hooper, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Quad Hooper, you say? A lot of parallel floating around. So rude. Is that an acid spray I see there? Maybe. What can I even do in the face of an acid spray? Weep. Nico asks, why is there a wob? Because <laughs> it's broken. Any other questions? It's a lot of psychic energy on the bin there. Yeah. Broken ability. They have not fixed Wob on PTCGO that I'm aware of. Almost certain they haven't. But we're going to do it anyway. We only really need to play it against, like, Vika Bulus and Zoroarks, so. You've been learned. It's not going well. Energies. There we go. Now we're rolling. Now we're energy driving. Do I play around another parallel? Yeah, I don't want to put down the Espeon anyway, do I? Nope. Okay. Mm. 
open this one? Joe is a content creator. Loose terms of the, of the saying, yeah. <laughs> I think he already means it as an insult. <laughs> 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 So mean. But may also be true. Serious Joe in action. <laughs> Mark's a content creator as well. That's true. Is a stacked Lele you have there, sir. Pop, pop. How can we do this? <clears throat> oh wow, Nico sold his soul for for ten bucks. <laughs> 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 Am I at a disadvantage at tournaments since people see how I play? Well. Fortunately, <laughs> I play better at tournaments. Most uh, of the time. I was, was going to say. <laughs> mostly. I mostly play better. <laughs> <laughs> mostly. <laughs> you remember that game on stream recently when you gave your opponent the tie when you had win, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's what mostly means. That was in the tournament, right? That's what mostly means. <laughs> He's hulking out, guys. Did you drop from the tournament at that point yet, Luke, or not? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, settle down. Settle down. <laughs> Carry on playing a little bit more. Oh, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I sent Jack your lit your Empoleon cube list, and I was like, "How did he lose to O?" <laughs> yeah. Wow. Luke, that list was fire. That is one of the best draft decks I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, you say that. It should have been. In testing, when I was Tamau and Joe were playing, Dummy I got a turn two double Empoleon. Mm. And then turn three, another Empoleon. What he didn't factor in mm. was flipping tails on confusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, After I flipped heads to give him confusion <laughs> on a roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the actual game, I, still... I literally drew ass. Nah, that deck was flames, man. That deck looks so good. Don't understand. I bossed that cube. Absolutely bossed it. Only had one loss in eight games. I had to do the math in my head. <laughs> one, two, three. Yep, yep. And so on. <laughs> I bet Joe clicks play right after this game. <laughs> you will forget between now and the end of the game. Perhaps. Looks like we don't really need one. Oh my up. god, you just topped it at the end of the game. Well. Mm. I suppose you can retreat and stand in. It's fine. Mm. I suppose. Suppose you can. I suppose I already had it. Go 
the end. I respect that. Nico asked if we were all playing Worlds this year. Wow. We've been discussing this mm. today, me and uh, Jack. I think one person in the call is. Yeah. Oh, Jack, you too? I think I think it's unlikely, unfortunately. No. <laughs> I was saying to Luke, if I pass all my exams, I'm there 100%. Well, but that's me. Then. Exam reset week. <laughs> Exam reset week is that exact week, and it's not looking hopeful on the exam front. So, Jack. come on! But I'm a trying. I'm a trying. I'd like to. I'd go. love to go. But Jack, it's your first time. Everyone remembers their first time. <laughs> I remember it probably at Charlie Powell's again. Same as last year. Oh yes. Um, I might go, Mark. It's it's unlikely, but I'm not going to hundred percent say no. Had to buy a new car recently, so that's kind of spent my world fund. <laughs> so we shall see. No crown king. How's it going, dude? When's the next pair interview? Uh, I should be back into it next week, depending on how the surgery goes. Yeah, I really enjoy making those videos as well. They're genuinely fun to make. And I like hearing stories that you don't normally hear about players. I think it it's one that I even like listen back and watch, because I think they are entertaining. Uh, so I really want to get back on those. It was the Tuesday that I did my leg in. I was actually meant to be doing one on that day with Hockman. Uh, but I had to cancel, obviously. Uh, so I think I'll get David on the next one, hopefully. Um, if his schedule's still free. Um, and then we'll continue weekly. Me and David had a cool idea for it as well. But I won't go into it. Keep it a surprise. Ooh, one loves a surprise. Jack, I can <laughs> I can hit you up with revision shortcuts. Please. <laughs> give me give me them. Nico still thinks CCG exists. <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn anything but you pass exams. That's exactly what we want. Um Sounds like a dream. Now then. He's gone for it. Almost. What? Jack. Jack looks like a lawyer. He's not studying law. He's studying beadlography. Wait. What are you doing here and not right there? Head slap content creator the face. Whoops. Distracted. No, Nico, I'm studying math. Being a lawyer. <laughs> Imagine him in a little tie. Studying math. Pop his little tie on. Off he goes to work. <laughs> Off he pops. <laughs> so that's so loud. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> That was honestly horrible. I was in such a weird mood today, man. <laughs> <laughs> such a weird mood. 
Ugh, just got no time for that. I have no time for that. I really don't. None. <laughs> what, what, what active gets the, all the boys down? I didn't check if I had a Bridget in deck. Risk it. We've already decided to be a content creator this game, so we may as well go full <laughs> content. Aqua Luke, play me. I'll play you. Where's the, where's the deck? Oh, I just forgot I was even logged in. Oh, I've got a request. Guess that was you, Benji. Sorry. Going for the Dark Flash to try and set up the Black Grey GX. If he uh, Acer Rod is this turn, we lose every time. But we are behind. So. There is nothing we can do about this. Have fun, Jack. Oh, God. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh, it's not even the horrible stuff he was sending. Updated version. Why do energy drive? I need to try and end him to win this game. Potentially the... Le yeah, I mean, Lele is still fine there, but it, it would make the... Parallel way worse. I don't know. Energy drive seems reasonable, but energy drive doesn't set up the black ray KO. This way I set up black ray. Beats. <laughs> Maybe not. Never know. I mean, probably. Play an item. Uh, damn. Rap Scallion. Not looking good. Yeah, the matchup's really hard. I play um I play Espion X to try and make it better, but it's still <laughs> real bad. <laughs> if we had another Zoroark down there, then not just Zoroa. We might have had a chance. Got himself the second choice Bandarunio. Sad face emoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What a mess. <laughs> Mark. Oh, Lord. I think you've been bamboozled here a bit, Joe. You reckon? Yeah. Bit of bamboozle. I think we're in it. <laughs> <laughs> we are in it. Oh, ability lock. What a dream. What Just out of space. Right, you got this. Hypnosis stall. I mean, I hope he, he has can, no gusmas. He can whiff a DC, right? That's that's possible. Possible. It it's possible. Right. Guys? <laughs> we got this. What's happened? I'll beat Benji down. I'm going back to this clownery. Luke mm, 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 mm. play Benji. Uh, See if we can both smash him. Can't copycat. Do it. Oh, in two sets. I've got no decks built, Benji. We um, lose to Goose. Yeah. And we lose to DCE. Yeah. He's still having <laughs> two minutes, Benji. Draws, like He's only having two more draws. He's so bad. Yeah, we can never win. Because it was all. <laughs> It ain't no, it ain't happening, yo. Just not right. This matchup's why you just play Buzzwell. Perhaps. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> Damn the EX. Couldn't even tell you what that is. Well, at least I didn't have to see that nonsense on my screen. <laughs> that clownery. Uh, what do we got? Five minutes? Mm, let's have one ladder right. game. Uh, one more game. Yeah, go. Okay. I want to see some packs. You want to see packs, do you? Give me yeah. a sec. Oh, what do yeah. the fans say? Oh, what do the fans say? Oh, yes. Rampados. <clears throat> I'm Parados broken. I suppose you haven't tested that yet. I leave that to Jack. Testing more. Rampados. No, I'm going nowhere near that. What? You have to. Rampados? Yeah. No, sorry. What's his name? You're thinking Tarantula, Tarantula aren't you? That's what I'm thinking of. Ah, the good cards. There we go. I'll, I'll look at the good cards, sure. That's stage two there. That evolves from a card that can't be bridgeted. Let's go, you <laughs> Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh, poggers. It's Don't my good worry, friend that's... Greninja. That was very far down on the list. Or the pad. Is it Boohoo Garf? Haha. 
Oh, why did I trade for Greninja when you've got seven, Joe? For goodness sake. Seven, you say? A video coming to you. Never. Soon, I mean. <laughs> A double back. It's a GX, alright? It's a GX. It could have just been a regular rare. Could have been. Tell yourself that. Luke, what are you doing? Why are you playing drums on your mic? I'm not. Let's do nothing. It's my cat. Giving the old. <laughs> the old purr. No, so never. Whenever Luke goes to talk, it like beat, beats his mic. Oh, like a drum. Is he muting on muting? Is he doing that old chestnut? Mic. No, I've got a different headset now as well. It's definitely doing the Beats by Dre thing, though. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's oh, have some Primal Lord. Clash. Why not? Let's get some Primal Ground ones up in here. Let's get some full art teammates. Samuel mm. Jetthro, thanks so much for the follow, dude. You've caught right at the end oh, of the dude. stream. But we'll be back on Wednesday. Jack's got himself a bunch of packs, so it might even be, dare I say it. Jack, dare oh. I say these words out loud? I think you can say some words out loud right now. Oh my goodness, it's the first to nine on Wednesday, boys. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yes. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Do you want to do a drum roll? I've already what? announced it. Oh, God. <laughs> I've already announced what? it, Luke. What a fun <laughs> So I bought all those packs, got all the cards I needed from about 20 of them. So I now just have 100 packs I don't need. Ah, very good. What do I do with these? I'll speak to you after, Jack. Yes. I might no buy some off, yeah. What do I do to these? Cat rub. Oh, boys, we are making bonk off of this today. Absolute bank. Kirkham's going to want that for 100 packs. 200 to deal. <laughs> that is a dream. Archie's ace in a hole. Ace in the hole. Kapow. Oh, yes, Manetric. Kapow. Medicham. If only that was still in the format. Oh, mate, with Diancy, is that good and expanded now? Broken. Broken. Everyone, broken. I broke the game again. He's only gone and done it, everyone. Bloody hell. It is broken. Hold on. <laughs> Overwatch, Jack. Not I was tonight, joking, Benji. but hang on, a, hang on a beat. It is broken. <laughs> Those jokes were not so jokes. Way to, way to cotton picking lily livered. Broken. Hey, Flanders. I need to get myself some more. Oh, right, man, go calm down. It's like plus 20, but it's plus 40. That sounds broken. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I have to look what Dancy does. You know Couldn't what Dancy you. does? Dancy EX. Oh. He was talking about earlier. Oh, it's terrible. Benji, I can't build decks to play you because you keep challenging me. The tech. Right, last pack. Pa. Okay, we can't end on that. That's a. <laughs> That's a dud. We'll wait. We'll last good pull, and we're out of there. Mm. That's a dud. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't quite. That's qualify. A, as Luke Williams would say, "That's a faulty pack." <laughs> That's for, <gasps> That's for the Legos. Da, 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 da. Oh, we found the we found the non dud. That is a dream. That is actually a dream. These packs have been insanity. Look oh, at his little yet. necklace. Makes you want oh, to start singing. Yeah. Makes you want to start singing under the sea. 
Anyway, see you <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Wednesday, first to nine, it's on, throwing down, making shapes, making a mess of Jack's dreams. <laughs> and all that good stuff. You heard it here first. So, more Forbidden Light on the way. That was a good little insight into squids. Started off so well, but we eventually climbed high enough in the ladder to start losing every game we played. Uh, good. So, <laughs> so that'll do it for tonight. And uh, we will be back Wednesday and tomorrow there'll be a video as well. I f- I'm mm. finishing, I finished work at like one tomorrow because I need to go for a scan for my knee, but it means that I essentially get back home early so I'll be able to do some recording. Sweet as enough, oh, guys. Yeah. See you Wednesday. Bye. See you, everyone. Bye.